What's happening everybody? Street here, PC Gamer, Shenanigans Extraordinaire, coming at you with a quick patch update. Now, this is patch 1.2.1, and we got a couple of bomb features going down in here, dude. We now have grenades working and spawning in the game. You know how fucking intense it's gonna be when people are throwing grenades at you and you're hanging out in the medical office now? Oh shit, that's gonna be ugly. Now, grenades, chem lights, and flares will now attract zombies, so... Now, there's a couple of reasons to pick up some of those extra flares and chem lights because you can huck them out there and zombies will run toward them and you can distract massive amounts of zombies with just a flare, which is going to open up a couple of new areas for sure for people. Otherwise, you got to have two or three guys to distract zombies while somebody runs in and loots. So, that is going to be a big, big thing right there. I like that. I'm, I'm excited. Now, Lock boxes will now disappear if they haven't been open for three weeks. This means that you fuckers that have six months worth of guns stashed in a lockbox that abandon the game and then come back later, your lockbox is not going to be there anymore, guys. Now, it's actually claiming three weeks, um, but, you know, I know there's a couple of guys, there's a couple of guys that I know that actually have lockboxes out there that have been hanging around for quite some time. Um, lock boxes can now be picked up and put back in your inventory. This is a huge deal because once you paid for the lock box, sometimes you want to move the damn lock box and you can't move it. And now you're able to pick up the lock box and put it back in your inventory. Um, it requires the lock box to be empty though, so you can't just like grab all your shit. You have, you know, tons of guns and, and equipment in there, and then you just throw it back in your stuff. That's not gonna work. Um, Increased damage on the nail gun. The nail gun has always been a big pussy weapon, dude, but now it actually does a little bit of damage, and I would hate to catch a stray nail from one of these freaking guns. So be on the lookout for nail guns that have a little more beef. I still have yet to find one in-game. I have not found a nail gun. I'm eager to find one and probably put a couple of nails in one of your guys' brains, dude. That'd be pretty sweet. Um, the ability to select another language in different territories has been... Um, implemented so now you can if you're playing on some Russian shit you know you could change the uh, the language and you can see different stuff going down um, there's a bunch of changes to Campos um, there's a couple new features there's a couple new gameplay items um, be on the lookout for some changes I'm not exactly sure what they all are yet but uh, they're they're tending to come in kind of as people people um, come across them so that's that's one thing we need to watch out for now there's a bunch of bug fixes the black boxes have been fixed I have not experienced this yet and it seems like a bunch of you have so I'm glad that this is not any longer or this hasn't become an issue for you guys any longer so that's pretty sweet bug fix um, it is no longer possible to stack barricades there's a lot of people stacking a lot of items and uh, kind of taking over regions because of the ability to stack and not be overwhelmed. So that is now a bug fix. Zombies will no longer stack in against each other. Um, f f let's see, playing a um, ricochet sound when using a melee weapon will no longer happen. Um, zombies will not be able to navigate through objects in the world anymore. Exploits to muting players has been fixed, so no more uh, free ESP, as some of you guys have been calling it. Um, switching backpacks will no longer um, tweak the carry rate. Sometimes when you have a small backpack, you can switch it up with something else, switch back, and you can get this glitch going where you can bring your small backpack back, but still have the weight increase from the bigger backpack. So that has now been fixed. And fixing the bug that would crash the system while placing a capsule in a lockbox. That's a big one, dude. I've tried to place capsule in lockboxes and I get some weird glitch. Sometimes it crashes, sometimes it just hesitates like crazy, but they fix that. That's a nice little feature. So they've uh, actually helped us out with some stuff. Now I know a lot of you guys are still having a problem with frames and uh, frames per second, which is a bitch, dude. Uh, you know, the street's got a, a machine that just horse powers through this shit and I don't really notice it, but I feel, uh, feel bad for a lot of you guys because when they originally released this game, it was supposed to be supported on some pretty low-end hardware. And uh, 
it seems that they keep upping the minimum requirements, which is kind of bitch made, I gotta admit. So I hope you guys appreciate this uh, quick little overview of patch 1.2.1. Thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to like this video. Be on the lookout for new Survivor or uh, Surviving Colorado season two. Been working hard on the editing on that guys. It's uh, some of my best work yet. So I hope you, uh, hope you check it out. Hope you like these videos. Subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. Thanks for watching guys.